the man, she had an encounter with him, her friends. Yes, father. She said the man is a prince and has promised to come visit her in the palace. A prince? A prince of, of which kingdom? Father, don't tell me you believe this is real. She had an encounter with a wandering ghost. A wandering ghost? Yes, father. Appearing to a, a member of the royal household? Exactly my thought. <sighs> well, I actually called you for this meeting because of uh, Obina and yourself. I'm aware he seriously seeks your hand in marriage. And I want to know what your position is, as far as this is concerned. Father, I... I am taking my time. Mm, you are not taking your time. You are confused. And I want you to do something about it. Father, I am not confused. I love Obina, and I would love to marry him. Obina and I, we have, we have plans. But I am trying to take things slow and steady. I was hoping catching up with you after a meeting with the king would be an opportunity for us to flow from his real aura and start something noble already. Obina, I am sure you are aware my sister has allowed the spirit of a wandering prince to possess her. I was thinking that is what you came here to talk about. But no, as usual, you came to talk about yourself. I'm sorry about that. You should be. Did you know I'm wondering about something? And what could that be? Chisome is not an Obanje. Nope, she's clean. Even though I don't believe in Ogbanje and spirits like that. But look, I think someone somewhere is trying to find his or her way into her life. Obina, you are getting me all confused. Let's hang it there for now. Um, princess, we... we had an inconclusive conversation last week. Obina, my sister just returned back to life. And we are still celebrating. Why are you always giving me this strong, cold shoulder? Why? No, I don't give you any strong, cold shoulder as you tagged it. I mean, come on. We are dating and it's as if we're not dating. You hardly make out time to see me. You don't see me. You're always here. No affection. Yet, we're in love. You love me. And that is not a lie. Obina, I... I am sorry I have not been giving you the time you want. But I will beg you, I would have to plead with you again. Please give me time. I do love you. But I'm sure you know nothing about my past love life. How... 
I was shattered. How I am still trying to rebuild my life from the inside. Princess. How long do I have to wait? It's been seven long months. How long do I have to wait for you to rebuild from the inside? One more year? Two years? I'm patient. I'm waiting. Thank you. And um, one more thing, Obina. Stop discussing us with my father. Please. I know you two are best of friends, but please don't discuss us again with him. I'll take this as a request. Also, stop referring to what we have as a tunnel. These are the last. As it pleases Her Majesty. before the princess of Ikenga kingdom. I thought I made it clear that I do not want to be disturbed today. I'm sorry, but we have visitors from the Oka kingdom. They are no who is the head of delegation. They parked outside the gates. But I have allowed the entourage to come inside the compound. Where are they now? Outside, my princess. Let me start with an introduction. I am Obuefi Jidofo Anumba, the Onowu of the Oka Kingdom. And here with me is His Royal Highness, Prince Nelson, the Crown Prince of the Oka Kingdom. Young Escobar. What? In the God's name, are you doing here? Oh, you know my prince. That means our journey is already successful. If your journey is not successful and can never be successful. Now, all of you, get out of this palace. Now! Maureen, your noise is becoming too much. Have you forgotten who I am? Or have you forgotten what I am capable of doing? On the contrary, 
young Escobar. I remember who you are. I know what you did. And I know what you can do. To think that I have moved on with my life and forgotten everything you did to me. Now you have the effrontery, the audacity to walk into my father's house with your ugly face is what I still don't understand. But let me make one thing clear to you. No matter where you hide, young Escobar, I will hunt you <coughs> down. I am not here to exchange words with you. My healing process lies in the hands of your sister, Princess Chiso. And that's why I'm here. Is she home? To think that you believe that I will hand over my sister to you makes you a dreamer. Like I said, get out of my father's compound now. You are here. It is not hallucination as, as I was made to believe. You are real. <sighs> now get into your room and lock yourself up. Get out of this palace right now. I am standing here in my capacity as the Crown Prince of Joker. For that reason, you have no right to discharge the one I have come to see. I have every right to ask you to Sister, leave this compound please. right now. Sister, please. You are not welcomed here. Get out! Sister, these are royal guests. Will you Sister. shut that thing you call them out? I said get into your room before I make you do it. As the head princess of Ikenga Kingdom, I command you to take this girl into her room. Now! Touch me! Get out of my father's palace. How dare you? Why would you do such a thing? Why would you send my guests away from the palace? Father. What's wrong with you? Father, those people are not your guests. Besides, I did what is best for the palace. <laughs> Father, can you imagine her effrontery? She's not even remorseful. Please don't make me hate you. Please. Like I care. Oh, please hate me, Chisom Obasi. Please. You have committed an abomination. Yes! Why would you send a royal family out of the palace? What would you your actions? Why? Father, your daughter saw a man in transition and won't... Stop it! Stop it. You don't get to yell at me. You don't get to do that. Do you even understand that these people are not human? They are not alive. They are ghosts. You are communing with a ghost. What is wrong with you? Can't you see that these people emanated from the grave and came to take you away from us? You cannot fool me. For I know ghosts do not drive cars. So don't make it look like I'm stupid or just hallucinating. I know what I'm talking about. Listen. You will go and bring those dead people back to the palace. Yes. I take delight in communing with the dead. Father, those people are not coming back to this palace. They will never step their foot into this palace. Oh, and if you must know, I am tied to that dead man. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. 
big sister. Father, did you hear her? Your second daughter is insane. You have already gone more insane than she is. You are more insane than she is. Sister. Father. Father. Please don't go. I beg of you, my hero, do not go. accused of poisoning your own father, princess. That's unheard of. Why would you do a thing like that? Well, the gods have vindicated me. I took the oath and nothing happened to me. I am innocent. Okay. okay nice, nice, by the way. Why are you restricting the prince of Dioka kingdom from seeing your sister? You think it's unreal or what? Obina, this is not the reason you are here. Okay. What's the reason? I need to ask you for a great favor. Okay, go ahead. I want you to marry my sister, Princess Chiso. referring to me. Obina, do not pretend like you don't know what I am talking about. You heard me. I would like you to channel all the love and care you have for me towards my younger sister. I want you to marry her and I am willing to pay any amount of money you want. Just mention it. Marry. Obina, please think about it. What? How? My prince, you need to tell us what you had or have with the princess of Ikenga kingdom. It is for your own good. As the Dibia said, get what is the Dibia said and focus on what Dimka said. Dimka said my mother has a cockroach in her cupboard. She knows why I can never become king. And she knows why I'm always insane. So forget about what Ezediba said and focus more on what Dimka said. Too many issues at hand. But you know, my prince, we cannot break into Ikenga kingdom or palace. I forced the young princess to marry you. There are protocols. That is the reason I keep suggesting that we make peace with that princess of Ikenga kingdom who has refused to concur with our mission. My prince, you need to tell us what transpired between you and that princess. Oh no, my prince. Afunze Ebioko. I am the crown prince of this land and that means power and authority. Whatever I want, I get, including anyone's head. So my people will go to Ikenga. 
bring that princess for me because I love her and she must be my wife with or without the consent of Maureen. Do I make myself clear? That is the spirit of no one. Onowu of the Oka Kingdom. Need I remind you that you are before Princess Maureen of Ikinga Kingdom? The no nonsense Princess Maureen. I am sure you have heard so much about her. I believe. Princess Maureen, the Adeze of Ikenga Kingdom. Yes, I know you. And I know what you represent in this kingdom and even beyond. I, do you know of the Oka Kingdom, humbly came before you because we need your help. I know what you're about to say. But I'm not interested in those tales. Can you please allow today be one of those good days you listen to people? You shouldn't refer to this as tales. Please. The sky is dark. Problem is here. There is fire on the mountain. Before you came in here to become this man's solicitor, do you even know what he had already said to me before you walked in? Well, let me tell you this. before you walked in here. Do you know what this man said to me? Do you know what the Onohu of Dioka Kingdom seated here said to me before you walked in, Princess Chisum, dearest sister? Well, let me tell you. He said for the mad prince, the mad prince of Dioka kingdom to regain his sanity that he must get married to you. And you call that tales? Princess Chiso. What if it's true? It's not a matter of what if it's true because it indeed is the truth. Once our prince gets married to Princess Chiso here, then, our problem is solved. Really? <sighs> you know what? I am not going to say anything further concerning this issue. I want to see our father. I want to talk to my father, the king. You are asking for the impossible. For you already know, I, Princess Chisum, will not disobey the elders and allow you see father. I will not. Do you realize I am the crown princess of this kingdom, Chisum? Are you now telling me I am not allowed to see my father? Please, let us not complicate issues before this august visitor from another kingdom. Kindly dismantle the order you gave the guards to not allow me leave the palace. I have to go see the prince of Dioka. I may not become his wife, but we have to heal him first. If you do this for us, I promise on my honor, I will bestow on you the greatest title we have in the Oka Kingdom. To hell with you and your greatest title of the Oka Kingdom. 
But I will not allow this disrespectful sister of mine to leave this palace. And that is final. And no one can do anything about it. himself one man demolition squad the face of Dioka kingdom pride of his father why he be in our way I told them that they won't harm you they won't kill you before your time oh no You're welcome. Please Thank you. It. Thank you. So how have you been? I'm okay. I think good. I heard you will be getting married to our princess. So how is she? Yes, I'm planning on marrying the princess. And she's ready for marriage as well. But things are not just working out. Obstacles here and there. I'm confused. Do not worry. I am here. Everything will work out perfectly well. Your auntie is here. Don't you trust me? Are you sure? Oh, oh, surely. What? What did... What did you just say? Oh, hey. They have come again. Huh? They Who are come again. Who are they? Why can't I become king? Hmm? No, tell me. Why can't I become king? I am Escobar and Mandela is my cousin. Why can't I become king? You tell me why can't I become king? Who are they? What did you just say? Huh? I should give it to her. What did you say? Why can't I be king? Why can't I be king? I'm telling you now. Why can't I be king? No, 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 no. Why can't I be king? Mandela is my king. I am Escobar. I must be king. I'm king. I said I'm king. Why won't I be king? Am I not supposed to be king? I am king. I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. Yes, I am young Escobar. Oh, yes, yes, he's my cousin. Mandela is my cousin. I must be king. I am King Escobar. I am supposed to be king. Mandela is my cousin. I said I am supposed to be king. Uh, Why wouldn't I be king? Am I not supposed to be king? Yes, you're Am I not supposed to be king? Yes, am I not supposed to be king? My prince, I'm not supposed to be king. My prince! I know you are supposed to be king. Did you do something? Am I not supposed to be king? Yes, you're supposed to be king. Hey! 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 My son! My son! Dibia, we are tired of all this. We are tired of all these things, eh? What shall we do? Eh? This is totally strange. There is limited time. Bring the right princess to this palace. But the princess ban us from coming close to their palace. We need an alternative. Oh no, there is no alternative. Bring that princess for the prince. He will be free from this spell. So what are you waiting for? Oh no, what are you waiting for? You know this is the pure hard work of Mr. Okonkwo. Eh? He wants to take over the throne when my son is very much alive. But you know what? I, Queen Ugo, will never allow that to happen. Never! The lasting solution to this problem is the princess of Ikenga Kingdom. Did you not hear it? Save my life, life, 
Oh no, I decided to get you involved in this. Not because I cannot handle it my way. Okay. But because I want you to talk some senses into this girl. Because she's beginning to cross her boundaries. My princess, thank you for being diplomatic to have involved me in this matter. Hmm? Uh, what is the problem? How do I come in? Tell me. Thank you very much, Ono. Mm -hmm. Ono, I want to see my father. I want to see my father, the king. Igor Basi of Ikenga Kingdom. And my sister. This little sister of mine is stopping me from seeing my father, the king. And now I am asking, I want to understand. Who the hell is this thing to stop me from seeing my father? I may not be as mighty as you want me to be, but I still insist you will not see him. And why don't you tell us what exactly is going on? Why don't you tell us the problem you have with the Prince of Dioka Kingdom? Why do you want him to languish in pain? Why do you abhor him so much? How heartless can you be? Have you not confirmed he is not a ghost? Is that not enough? Oh no, were you listening to this fool? No, are you listening to this fool? We are talking about my father, the king of this kingdom, and this idiot is talking about a ghost, a wandering ghost at that. Point of correction. I am not an idiot. Hmm. Neither is my suitor a ghost. Um, my princess, you cannot see the king. You cannot see the king. His majesty has just come back uh, from coma. And you know it's a taboo for you to see him. I mean, you and I know it's an abomination. As the crown princess of this kingdom, Mikenga kingdom, to set your eyes on a man who is incapacitated. Oh no, oh no, with all due respect, I am losing my patience because this is not the bone of contention. Oh no, are you just going to sit there and ignore my curiosity? Will you just sit there and pretend like I am talking trash? Otherwise, you can ask my sister here what problem she has with the Prince of Dioka. We deserve to know. I will not shut, shut up! up. I, I will, will not shut up! You know, mind you, the of your elder sister, and you should not push me. Enough. And what if I push you? Enough. What if I push enough. you to the bottomless enough. pit of enough. hell? What will you do? Look. Oh no, please! I've had Look. enough of how Christ sent me in this me. palace. You people came come here to to come and settle matter. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Then it is meaningless calling me. Why do you call me? If you think you can handle the matter yourself, why do you call me? Oh no, I did not call you. She called you. She's the one misbehaving. Shut up. I will tell you that. I will not shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I got talking with Wilma today and uh, from what she is saying, increasing number of our people now believe you're a cultist. My good friend, the Kukoma, I have already decided that I will never join issues with anybody. You see, all these things are tales. Tales that are created by the enemies of this kingdom to distract me. But I refuse to be distracted. Uh, Chief Okompo, some people you call enemies of this kingdom actually see you as the real enemy of this kingdom. And my good friend Ikukoma, you who know me inside and out, am I an enemy? Chief Okompo, you're not. Good. You're not. But you know, in a situation where you're misunderstood by almost everyone in the kingdom, I think you should step down a little and allow peace to reign. By stepping down a little and allowing peace to reign, 
do you mean that I have to allow a stranger to become king? If that is what you are saying, I am telling you here and now that it will never happen. Chief Okonkwo, you are my very good friend. I have to tell you the truth. The way things are going, nothing may surmount all obstacles and become king. Have you pondered what he will do to you if that time comes? That time will never come. For he will never become king. Oh yes, they may get so close. But everything is going to crumble right before their eyes. the king doing? I hope he's recovering. Hi. I, I, I'm just waiting for the right time to meet with this king. Hi. I can't wait for us to become in laws. Honestly. <sighs> My son. Becoming an in law to the king of Ikenga land. How? Oh. Mama, there's a problem. I don't understand. What problem? Maureen is asking me to go for her younger sister. I don't understand what you're talking about. Go! Go where? She's asking me to marry her younger sister instead of her. No, no. Nay. After seven or eight long months of emotional investment, no, she can't be, she cannot be saying this now, this time. Eh? Why? Why would she say such a thing? And what's her reason for saying you should go for the sister instead of her? She wouldn't tell her reason. No, 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 no. No, this cannot be happening. Eh? It, it, it shouldn't be happening. No, no, no. You need to find out her reason. Because you're about to become the local government chairman. And you need a wife. And now that God is about to bless you with a princess, a crown princess, that will succeed her father because you don't have a male child. No, no. You, Obina, you have to sit down, sit down and ask her questions. Because this cannot happen now. No, no. Who must be in laws to the king? Uh, Mama, my business here is not the father and also the father. My worry is my relationship and the time invested for this long period of time. So. Listen, we are saying the same thing. There will be a reason for her to say this kind of thing. So you should sit her down and find out. That's what I'm saying. Last time you were here, you made an allegation against me and followed it up with an insult. I decided to ignore you because I know that a day like this will come when you will need my help. Miriam, I have already apologized. I am only here because you are the only one who can handle this. There are so many things I can handle. Killing is not one of them. Asking me to assist you kill the prince of Dioka kingdom is not one of the things I can do. 
If you know what that son of a cow did, then you will agree with me that he is not worthy of life. He did not rape you. Neither has he seen the woman in you. And that is because I resisted him. I resisted him with the wisdom of the royalty in me. I forgot about him. Moved on with my life. But that son of a cow decided to show his ugly face again. And now, I need him to be punished for the crime he committed. And you want him to pay with his life? You want him to pay with his blood? I cannot allow you shed blood, my princess. Are you going to turn me down? Not exactly. But you are going to allow me deal with the Prince of Dioka Kingdom my own way. You will allow me to deliver your sister to the man of this kingdom. Anyone that is not the prince of Dioka Kingdom is okay by me. Then, I want you to tell me explicitly that you will not come after me or judge against me when I grab your sister and deliver her to the man of this kingdom. I will not come after you. But I also need you to explicitly tell me what you meant when you said that you would deal with the Prince of Dioka Kingdom your own way. My Queen, relax. Relax your mind. There is a solution. We have the cure. The cure is here. Calm down. At least let the princess come and attend to us. We've been here for over 30 minutes. Oh Lord, my son is dying. Nelson Chimobi is dying. Just calm down. The princess will see us. Okay? And nothing will happen to Nelson. Calm down. Oh Lord, you don't understand. You definitely do not understand. The princess will attend to us. Okay? So calm down. Eh. So, Chief Okonkwo is actually into occult. Oh, please, Uloma. Please! Look, I am not concerned about all that. What that matters to me is the health of my son. My princess. Are they the ones that want to see me? Yes, my princess. How may I help you? My name is Queen Ugo. I am the queen of the Oka Kingdom. I have come so that we can talk woman to woman. Queen Ugo of the Oka Kingdom. There is nothing to talk about with you. With due respect, princess, do not be rude to a queen. Oh, no, 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 she's not being rude. You know, we are 
meeting, you know, in ourselves for the very first time. So I sincerely understand. Well, out of respect, because you are royalty, I am only going to say this once. Nothing you say nor do here will amount to anything, nor hold water. My princess. So don't, don't waste your breath. My princess, please, my son is dying. Please, your princess, you know how desperate a woman can be when she needs something. My son is dying. The crown prince of Dioka kingdom is dying. Please. I heard you. But what I have failed to hear you say is how this is my concern. Am I your son's medicine man? Our great Dibya said that your younger sister is the cure. Please. Please. Is my sister an herbalist? Your sister has the cure. Actually, we are not here for you. We came here to see her. Please, my princess. If you know what a mother can do to save her son's life, you will understand that I'm really desperate. Now listen, this is my kingdom. Nothing you will say nor do will make me change my mind. As the first princess of this kingdom, the crowned princess of Ikenga kingdom, I set a rule, I make a decree right now. My sister is not going anywhere and that is final. We want to marry her, princess, please. Do not be too harsh on our poor souls. Oh? Our crown prince is dying. Please. Chinonso. My prince X. Get this women out of this palace right now. At once. Hold it there. Hold it there, young man. Now listen to me, young lady. And listen very good. I am not a soft hearted when I've heard tales about you so don't even do anything rash I see you came to kill me that is exactly what I mean when I said I am desperate I can actually do worse hmm. Chin on so my princess. Stand down. This woman cannot hurt a fly. She poses no threat to anyone. Yes. I am in the palace with the sick prince in his room. Honestly, Mazu Doka, the prince is not getting better at all. Even the doctor said he might soon get better. So, the queen is not in the palace. I am suspecting that she might have taken the bull by the horn by deciding to go for the princess. That is the most confusing part. She didn't go with any guard or maiden. She went alone. What else? We have to just continue hoping and praying for better days. Yes. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Save my love, love, the princess has retired to her chamber and she will not come out again today. Look, 
that disrespectful and arrogant princess is not why we are here. We are actually here for the younger princess. Can you please call her for us? I'm sorry. I'm talking to both of you here because you're a queen. You cannot see the younger princess. Then, note that we are spending the whole night here. We are not leaving until our mission is accomplished. Then, best of luck. My queen, it is not as if I am interfering with your instructions. There's a suggestion I would like to make. What suggestion? Since we are passing the night here, I think it is better we call the palace secretary. At least inform him that we won't be coming back today. No, but do not even turn on your phone. Don't even think of turning on your phone. Not to talk of making any call. Don't you know they will trace the call to this place and that will jeopardize all our plans? But they will be worried. Let that be my headache. Let that be my headache. Look, I am desperate. And I am ready to do anything. It has happened, it has happened up to here. Are you understand? Is the younger princess coming? Nobody's coming. My princess. My princess. It is the life of prince we are talking about here. Eh? Why are you doing this? I, I, I think you should reconsider. Please, my princess, I beg of you. Please. Oh no. Yes, my princess. Starting from today. Yes, my princess. Your office as the Ono of this kingdom has been terminated. What? You will no longer uphold the sacred office. And you are banned from walking into this palace as you please. As a matter of fact, I do not want to see anything that looks like you in this palace. Do I make myself clear? My princess, have you forgotten I was chosen by the gods? Oh, really? Yes. Well, I just made a decree. I just passed a decree. A command in which you are supposed to obey. You might as well tell your gods what I said. As it is now, you are very, very inconsequential in this palace. My princess, what have I done? Have I gone wrong in any way? And what is going on in this palace? Who are those women? They look very tired and grieved. They are nobody. And you should not concern yourself with them. They are my business, not yours. Get busy, sis. Speaking of business, we have an unfinished business. You know, you've still not told me why you barred me from leaving this palace. You cannot act hostile towards everybody like a tyrant. You are not the queen, so don't pretend like you did not suckle any... Shut up! Are you insane? My princess! Get out of this house now. Sorry.
I don't care if I'm in your palace. Maureen, don't forget, I'm still the young Escobar. You know me and what I'm capable of doing. I want to marry your sister and there is nothing anybody can do about that. Young Escobar, you are mad. You are insane. I want you to die. I want you to die a mad man. Because you are not going to marry my sister. You are daring me. Hmm. I'm not. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you looking all stupid and foolish. Have you forgotten what you did to me? Young Escobar, have you forgotten the shame? The pain? You inflicted on me. Now look at you. At my mercy. Holding you by your balls. Because there is nothing you can do. And I ask you now, where is your connection? Where are your cartels? Where is everything you hold on to? You want me to hand over my sister to you. Young Escobar, I will not do such. And I want you to recognize the fact that I am your queen and you must bow to me. I will never bow to you. Oh, really? And you are not in the position to decide who your sister marries. Watch me do it. Like I said, I have your balls in my hand. I can decide to squash it if I want. Now get out. Get out! Lies! Absolute lies! You have no right to decide who I spend the rest of my life with. You dare not. For I am Chisum and I have a life to live with whom I please. This man is the one after my heart, my soul, my spirit, and the anatomy of this body standing before you. We met in the royal forest of death and made it back alive. You think you can stop us? You cannot. Chisum, get inside. I am going nowhere. You have crossed the line and I've had it with your madness. What is it? What is it? What did he ever do to you so wrong? You can only punish him by torturing me. Well, I know you. You've never wanted my happiness. You pretend to be a saint, but deep down you're a very selfish and terrible person. This is the last I will take from you. You poisoned our father. Damn the odds. I know you did that on purpose. Are you going to marry him? Absolutely. I will. one at that. Ah. What happened? That, that, that princess is highly demonic. Ah. She is evil. What happened? What did she do? <laughs> she, 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 she killed her younger sister. Ah. That's her younger sister that we are planning to Are you for real? Yes. Yes. That's that's bad omen. Oh, our plans have failed. No, 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 no. 
just calm down. I am with you. We must triumph. Oh, just calm down. Just calm down. Unfortunately, there is no room for stubborn, dioka women in this palace. Princess, we are not just women. She is a queen. Accord her some respect. Have manners, please. Hmm. A queen. A queen without guards. Hmm? Then, go ahead and slit our throats. Go ahead. Slit our throats. That won't be a problem. As long as you accept my plea. Please, my princess, I am not fighting anymore. I do not know the kind of problem you had with my son in the past. I don't know the pain and agony he put you through. But for the sake of humanity, I want you to forgive him. Please, the crown princess of Ikenga kingdom, forgive my son. I am losing him to insanity. Please, my princess. I can be your mother, remember? Yes. We can be your mothers. Especially now that your mother is Do no more. Do not talk about my mother because you know nothing about her. Enough. Oh, fine, fine, fine. We do not want to be your mothers. But place yourself in our shoes. I don't want to help your son. I will not help your evil and heartless son. You think you know him? You think I don't know who your heartless and evil son is? The thing is you people don't know me. You don't know my father. You don't know what I am capable of doing. You don't know my father. And I am my father's daughter. The only lioness in the jungle. Not even your son, sane or insane, can trap me. So believe me when I tell you that this is payback. This is a sweet payback. And I am going to enjoy every bit of it. I am going to enjoy every ounce of it because I don't care. I do not care. Payback. What payback are you talking about? What did Nelson do to you? Did he promise you marriage and failed? Did he disappoint you? Did he lie to you? Please explain to us your pain, princess. Exactly, my princess. We need to know. I need to know. Please, my princess. Talk to us. Please. My dear princess, forgive my son. You are kneeling in vain. Like I said, you do not know me. 
This has nothing to do with business or relationship. So your emotions do not move me at all. with her father. I would have asked him to place a curse on the womb that gave birth to this princess because she's very wicked. Huh? What a gross disrespect. Huh? She's too arrogant. I have never met someone like that in my entire life. <sighs> Sophia. <sighs> but you know what? Loma. What? We are staying. We are not leaving. We are staying back. Yes. We must get to the root of this. No retreat, no surrender. Yes. I have we see. Queens. You have been in the palace for too long. Darkness has covered the sky. This is unusual in the palace. My father is not late yet. So if I may ask, is anything the matter? Leave us. At once. I know who you are. Never let this happen. Never. <laughs> Escuba. Escuba. You created the monster. You should be able to face it. I never knew that life will turn around and the table will directly face your opponent. Oh, Nelson, a.k.a. Young Escobar. This is the tip of the iceberg. Because you are yet to see anything. Hmm. You are yet to see anything. You are at my mercy now. At my mercy. And I promise you, I will crush you. I will crush, break and pieces every bones in you. Uh -huh. Am I unto the know of Ikenga Kingdom? Okay, thank you my brother. My name is Ichi Anumba, the know of Dioka Kingdom. Sorry to disturb you at this night, my brother. Only that our queen left this kingdom for your kingdom. And she's not back yet. Uh, we have called all day. It is not connecting. Though I know it's on purpose because she doesn't want anybody to get to her. Uh, please call your kingdom and confirm if she's there. 
Yes. Uh, it will be highly appreciated. Please do. Thank you very much. <laughs> Nobody leaves this palace. Why are you like this? Why are you exhibiting qualities that are not befitting of royalty? We came here since yesterday demanding that you should release your younger sister to us. You bluntly refused, even when you know how important it is to my son's life. Now, we want to live honorably. You are still refusing us. What exactly do you want? My sister is missing. And until I find my sister, none of you are leaving this house. Where is my sister? How do you expect us to know your sister's whereabouts? Are we her keepers? Open the gate, let us go! Ah! Chukunonso. My princess. I see these women don't know me. But they will. Arrest them. At once. If you touch me, Arrest me, keep them until you see Chisum. If you don't, and if they resist, kill them both. I want to live with them. I thought as much. I can see your madness is back. Miroma will be needed soon. Chukunonso, take her to her. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I said take her. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. For reasons best known to me, I will not be dealing with the two of you. Obikwe, open the gate. Before I close my eyes and open them, disappear. I am no longer afraid of you, for I have accepted to be your prisoner. And how are you battling with the princess of Ikenga Kingdom? You really dealt with that lady. It is hard for you to speak up and accept your wrong. As the white lion, the king, young Escobar. You initiated the fraternity thinking that all human beings will be at your beg and call. Just like you imprison an old man like me without telling me my wrongs. Without even letting everyone know the wrong I have committed as your prisoner. I am already comfortable here. In fact, I'm enjoying the drama. And to tell you the truth, you are only fighting your own self. Because very soon, you will leave this kingdom and everything behind. 
to wear. Do that thinking for yourself. I kept you here because you know a lot. I know what you want to ask me. You want to ask me if the princess can be yours and if there is more time for you to unleash mayhem to Ikengan Kingdom. The answer is no, no, no. Because you will be caught in your own flesh. Will Chifokonko overtake me? Do you want to play trick on your mind? That is not a question. I know what you want to ask me. If you would die, if the princess did not come to your aid, the answer is yes. I am not a magician. I am a seer. I read the mind. I see the past, the present and the future. My dear friend, would you want to know where they have taken Princess Chisomto? She has been arrested by her own sister. Where did they take her to? So, when your phone failed to connect, I had no other option but to call the Onowu of Ikenga Kingdom. <laughs> the said Onowu did not do anything. And as for the head princess, that girl is a monster. My queen, this is how we will go about this. Okay. I shall. I will make all the gods go away from their duty posts. You will? Yes. And then I will go inside the trunk of your car. Really? Yes. You do all that. Mm. My princess, yes. why don't we leave now? <gasps> you can sneak out of the palace without being noticed or questioned. Mm -hmm. My lady, it is not possible. As it stands right now, my sister has ordered the guards to never let me out of the palace. What? Yes. So we have to be two steps ahead of her. Okay. Which is why the best way we can go about this is for me to go inside the trunk of your car. That way you can drive yeah. off without them noticing I am with you. Oh, my darling girl, I'm so, 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 so Thank you so much. You're so welcome, my queen. You don't know what this means to me. I so much appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my queen. You're welcome, my lady. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Just prepare yourself. Prepare yourselves, okay? okay. Do not act suspicious. All right. Yeah. All prepare right. yourselves. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, let's go. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful. Oh, my, this is wonderful. Honestly, she understands perfectly well. Gods of our land. She Gods of our land perfect these plans for us. Gods of our land perfect these plans for us. But everything went south. When she started looking for her sister, she raised alarm and ordered her guards to seize the queen and I. And when her guards tried to intervene, she said there would be bloodbath in the palace. I believe the princess heard the order and started to bang heavily on the trunk. That was how she came out. We were even lucky. She did not seize me and the queen as they seized the princess. Because they seized her immediately she came out. Hmm. That princess is mean. I mean very, very mean. She wants me to bow down and kiss her feet. She wants me 
the crown prince to bow down and kiss her feet. I'd rather die than do such. It will never happen. It's not even in my gene. No, no, no. Not my son. That girl is very angry. She wants you to beg for mercy. I can feel the anger in her. Can you please tell us what exactly transpired between the both of you? What transpired between you and that mad and bitter princess? We would like to know. This is nothing but power tussle. And I know the, that something must have happened between you both in the past. That girl's attitude is not ordinary. Or is she jealous? <laughs> yes. She's extremely jealous that our prince is about to marry her younger sister. <laughs> no, Loma. I totally disagree with you. No. What I saw, the picture I saw, is beyond jealousy and envy. Something is wrong somewhere. I am not interested in all that. I don't want this illness to repeat itself. So I am interested in Princess Chiso. I don't care about Princess Maureen. I do not care about her. Eh. We are doing our best to help. But then, you will have to tell us what is happening. Mother, I can't discuss her. She is a nobody. The gods have revealed that Princess Chisum is all I need. And that's what I'm focusing on. But that palace is impregnable. We cannot break into that palace and smash her because her sister is tyrannic in nature. She cannot allow any of us an inch close to that kingdom. You're right. Hmm. You need to see how she treated us. She insulted us, tried to fight me. Hmm. That girl, I must show her my skills. Are you trying to tell me you don't understand English anymore? I locked up a maid. A maid who decided to destroy my image. And now I have gone back to where I locked her up and she's not there. Now I ask once again, where is Nedi? Where is Ejezia? so kind to me honestly I don't know but I feel you're a special woman but the problem I have with you is that you talk too much it is it I don't just talk these things have been deposited in my spirit by forces mightier than me if I don't talk I feel so restless I have to voice it out with my mouth. Then, find a way to control it. 
what you said already is why you are in trouble. And it's also the reason why we are traveling to my maternal home. But it's okay. I know my grandmother will be able to protect you from the forces that is trying to put you in trouble. And your maternal home is still very far. Somehow, maybe we can rest here for now. I know the guards are looking for us. And I see your head leaving your body if they eventually find us. May the gods forbid, not my head. Look, I'm only trying to save your life. Princess Maureen has already sentenced you to death. If not for the happenings in the palace, you would have been dead by now. It's okay. Please, I am tired. Let us find somewhere to sit and rest. Better. So you are trying to tell me that Ejizi and Nedi escaped from this palace and none of you, no one out of you have agreed to helping them. Hmm? My, my princess, we are sorry. It happened so fast. We don't even know when it happened. Besides, AJZ is the chief guard and he outsmarted all of us. We are sorry, my princess. I see. I see. So I have dummies working for me. I have uniformed dummies walking around the palace in the name of maidens and guards. Because I don't understand how a Jay-Z and Nady escaped this palace and none of you saw them. Not even one person saw them leaving this palace. And yet you call yourself gods of Ikenga kingdom. A girl who insulted your princess, the first daughter of Ikenga, escaped this palace and all of you are standing here like dummies that you are, telling me you know nothing about it. Right? Gods? My princess. You have just 24 hours to find a Jizye and a Nedi. If you don't find them before the end of 24 hours, Eds will roll. And I might start from you. Or you. And as for you, uniformed dummies of Ikenga Kingdom, I'll get back to you. Somehow, 
I see the gods are connected to this. It is not clear yet, but there is a twist that would shock everyone. We have started again. Can you just please keep quiet? One thing you need to know is that your life is at stake. Let us continue on this journey. That is the only way you can be free. Can I possibly keep quiet when I have a lot to say? Yes, you need to keep quiet. Princess Maureen is a fierce and overambitious woman. But she is still a child. Yes, she is a princess, but I am older than her. Should I not be afraid of her? Look, you need to stop seeing her as your junior. See her as the princess who can get you killed and nothing will happen. If she uses her position as the princess to cut my life short, the star of the gods in me will haunt her forever. Okay, no problem. Can we just leave? This endless argument is not helping us. Let us go! Ned. I don't know what you are seeing, but look, I'm not going to be afraid of you. The gas will be coming after us. I believe you have your own legs to run in case they overpower us. So save your strength and let's go. Can you settle down? Let's talk. Obina, there is nothing to settle down and talk about. I have said this, I've begged you. I want you to marry my younger sister. I want you to be with her. I want you to settle down with my younger sister. You see all the love and care you've been showing me, show it to her. But if, if it's something you cannot do, then it's okay. There is nothing to talk about. Just, just... Maureen, this was not the promise we had for each other. We had our plans. And now you're asking me to marry your younger sister. No. What, what, what is that you coming from? I'm coming for you. No, you're not. You are coming for my father's throne. That is not true. That is not true. Shut up. Just, just shut, shut it. I am so sorry. This, this is not me. Do you know this is not me? I, I have a lot on my plate right now. And I need to be focused to achieve all that is in front of me. So I don't need any distraction. That is why I need your help. Please. You are fighting the brains. All because he wants your sister. Yes. Are, are you playing game here? And you call it revenge? Revenge for what exactly, if I may ask? Obi, now you can call it anything you deem fit to call it. I don't care. Like I said, I want you to marry my sister. And if it's not something you can do, it's okay by me. You are free to walk out that door and close it behind you. Okay. I'm not going anywhere.
I thought I sent you to ask Ichi Ome to come and see me. So why did you come back without him? My princess, he said he would never come to this palace again until you explained to him why you barred Onowu of this kingdom from coming to the palace. He said what? That old man said that to you? I actually met him with other elders. They are having a meeting. I see. So these old men are having a meeting against me. It's okay. I will answer them later. Right now, I need to concentrate and handle this threat from Dioka Kingdom. Later, I will handle this old man. And by the time I am done with them, they will run out of this kingdom. My princess, what else will I do? Get out. Hmm? Get out. I commissioned this tax into your hands. I paid you the amount of money I paid you because I believed you would succeed. How come you failed? I did not fail. I actually succeeded in bringing her here and she was here for seven days. And you didn't get back to me. You didn't let me know. You should have called me. Call you to do what? Rip her? Vincent, Onudugo, whatever they call you. There are so many forces involved in this right now. And these forces are ministering so many things into my head that I can no longer process things properly. Uh, I, I do not want to get involved with all these spiritual things and mystical matters. But I am just wondering why I paid for something and I cannot get what I paid for. And if not that you paid me very well for this. I would have thrown you out of this house by now because nobody speaks to me in this manner. Uh, I, I, am, I am sorry. I, I do not mean to upset you. It's just that I, I want to have this maiden. I want, I want to be with her. In fact, I need to have her. Go home. Leave at once. Allow me to explore my plans. Do not come here again to provoke me. You will hear from me when you will hear from me. My princess, you sent for me. I did. This is very delicious. You prepared it? Yes, I did. Oh. And I'm glad you love it. I do. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You know, I have a feeling Nadi did not lie to us. How do you mean, my princess? Something keeps telling me my sister might have actually poisoned the king. That is not possible. She swore to the deadly staff. I'm nothing happened to her. 
infinite thoughts. What if we are being manipulated? Yes, because if you... My princess. My princess. My princess. My princess. Ah! As the doctor has confirmed that there is nothing wrong with her, that means it is spiritual. I know that already. Now, so, my princess. What do you suggest we do? Because I would not love to bring up this news to my father. It will elevate his blood pressure and that might lead to his death. If you may permit me, let me take her to the priestess. I believe she will have solution to her problems. By priestess, you mean Miriam? Yes, my princess. I don't know why I don't like that lady. At this point, my princess, I believe it's the right for us to save her life first. And Milioma is the only solution for that. I explored all the powers at my disposal. I only succeeded in casting a spell on her. A spell that brought her before me. What else did I achieve? Nothing. Goddesses of the Kinga Kingdom. Let it not be that you have abandoned me. As a member of the royal family, with royal blood flowing in your vein, I am sure you can stand the truth. What truth? And why am I here? I brought you here with my powers. What kind of powers, please? And why would you even bring me here? How long have I been here? A young man of this village is interested in you. I brought you here so that you can meet him. Your powers beyond me pinned you down, and you were not able to meet him. Now that you are up, I would like you to meet him. What you have done is abuse of office. In fact, it is a crime and you know it. I did everything for you, my girl. I have not committed any crime. You did everything for me. You brought me here against my wish, using mystic powers that is alien to me. And you turn around and say you did it for me? Only the gods can explain what you may have done to me. I have not done anything to you, my girl. I brought you here only for you to meet him. I am not interested in meeting any man. I already have a man in my life in whom I am well pleased. Same. I am not interested in another. Same man they've refused you from being with. You are a princess, my girl. 
You are meant to marry a man from this kingdom, not a stranger. I take an exception to that. My man is not a stranger. He cannot harm me. On the contrary, many people here in Ikenga are the strangers who use mystic powers to harm others. You cannot leave my presence. We have sent word to the palace and they are on their way to pick you. If it turns out that you did something awful to me, I will ensure that you regret it in spite of your position. You have to come down. No more. Don't tell me to come down. Please. But you have to. How am I supposed to come down when they are not here with her? It's easy to say, calm down, come. How am I supposed to come down? How? Tell me. Please. My prince, I believe they will be here any moment. So just relax. Mm -hmm. Oh no. We don't have time on our side. We don't have time. When this nonsense comes up, I will be completely out of this planet. And you stand here and tell me to come down. How am I supposed to come down? How? Second place. We should approach this mission fast. What? The priest will kill us if we return to you without the staff. What are you saying? Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Listen to me. The princess that was held captive here is no longer here. And she was the target. We should approach this mission now. Never. We cannot live without the staff. Hey! Hey! Let's go. Are you coming with me or not? Yeah, drop this. Goddess of King of Kingdom. My hands, my legs, my whole body is not part of this. Whatever they want to happen, should happen to only him. I am not involved. I am not a particular of this. Please! has the spiritual power to prevent such happening in her shrine. Eh? Not all the time this thing works. Perhaps she was not holding her staff. Wait, girls. We should be talking about our missing princess. That should be our concern. Not Miroma this and Miroma that. What kind of silly talk is this now? It's not silly talk. But people of Dioka invading her shrine. We all know how desperate they need our princess. That should be their handwork. I don't think so. How can they evade the shrine of our priestess and take away her staff, including our princess Chisom? That means they are looking for war. I'm sure they will send our guards in search of them. Okay, that would be a good idea. Mm. But let's just get to the palace, please. Uh, wait for me. Hold on, let me understand what you're saying. You went to the princess's place and you cannot find my sister there. Exactly what I said, my princess. Hold on, let me understand something. You went to Miriam's place and you cannot find my sister there. Exactly what I said, my princess. Chisong was not there. There is this graveyard silence that shows that place was attacked. Attacked. As in, you're trying to say that Chisum has been kidnapped. I may not conclude on that. But my princess, Chisum was not there.
Young Escobar. Nelson, the useless prince of Dioka Kingdom. You cannot contend what you just started. You cannot. Young Escobar. You can't. I wonder why you're doing this. No matter how much we feel the priestess is compromised, she is still the priestess. And we cannot question her authority. That priestess is powerless. If not, how come my boys return to his palace with her staff? Exactly the reason I am bothered. Your target is the princess. When your boys got there and they couldn't find the princess, they could have left. No, my boys are professionals. They don't work that way. They got there and the princess was nowhere to be found. So they were left with no other option than to return with the staff of that priestess. Did I tell you I want to confront Chifo Konkwa in his house? Why would you do that? Because I feel that somehow he is the architect of all these problems. He may be the one holding the princess. Yes. How come I never thought about that? Okonkwa. Okonkwa. If I finally find out that you are the one behind all this. <laughs> I will crush you. I will crush you to pieces. The same prince of Dioka that I asked you to kill and you refused is the same person who finally sent thieves to steal your staff. And you did nothing. Now look at you. Looking all ordinary. Just like the nobody that you are. Princess Adese. If you are here to mark me, I will advise you to leave my house at once. I may have lost my position as the priestess of this kingdom, but I still remain the Miroma of this kingdom. And you know what I can do. Oh, my darling, you can do nothing. Miroma, look at me. You can do Nothing because you are nobody. How? I don't even understand why I did not think about this all this while. I mean, if ordinary thieves can come into your shrine and steal your stuff, that is to say you have always had no powers. As a matter of fact, you are powerless. Wow, the powerless priestess. <laughs> I lost my powers because I allowed desperate people like you to dictate my life. No, 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 no. Because I don't understand why you are trying so hard to involve me in your downfall. 
Darling, this is all you. This is all you're doing. I have nothing to do with it. I allowed myself to be bribed. That is what led me to these problems today. Bribed? Who bribed you? Wait a minute. Mirama, you have been collecting bribe all this while and then parading yourself as the priestess of Ikenga kingdom. Huh! Interesting. This is absolutely interesting. The bribe collecting priestess of our land. Just the same way you came to me. Asking me to help you kill the Prince of Diok. If I had listened to you, I would have been a dead person by now. Hmm. Good radiance to bad rubbish. Anyway, this will serve as a lesson to everyone who will decide not to respect what needs to be respected. The bride taking priestess of Ikenga Kingdom. I greet you. Enjoy your miserable life. Huh? Miriamma. Those who shouldn't talk to you can now talk to you. You've lost it. I lost it all. You need to start looking for a way to do something about this new development. Or better still, consider the younger sister. Yes, after all, she's pretty. Mama, what are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? How do I do it? It's simple, Mama. It's just way to transfer the love you have for Princess Mori to Princess Chisu. After all, he's still from a royal home. Don't you know that marrying from a royal home will add to your credits and it will make you more relevant? So I, I suggest you just go for the younger sister. Oh, I've heard you. So I should just switch. I just leave Maureen and go to Chisholm. Simple. Hey, wait. I, I mean, I mean, Mama, I understand all you've said. Marrying from there, yes, add to my relevance, right? Mm -hmm. But that is not what I want. Maureen is the one I love and I want to marry, not the younger sister. Listen, you want to marry, but does she want you as much as she wants her? No! There's, the, there's an adage in Ibu that says, Now forget me, a man can't forget me. Go for uh, uh, Princess Chisum, it's still the same thing. I need you to, to join me. There's something wrong with that girl. Oh, I see. Because you want to rule the kingdom with her. That is why you don't want to go for the younger sister. Eh? When is there's no difference, you see the same thing. So what is your problem now? Mama. I am not after the throne. I am not after the throne of Ikenga. Here is your land. My mother's land. All I want is just love and Maureen. Can't you get it? Mama, see what you are saying. I should switch, transfer. Like I'm doing bank transaction. How do I just switch from um, Maureen and go to Chisholm? Switch from the older one and go to the smaller one? Is Mama, I am not from here. Ikenga is your land. I'm not at the throne. I want Maureen. That's all. <laughs> you want Maureen? You want Maureen? You've said it. More than ten times. Why did she doesn't want you? Anyway, I still stand on what the princess Mama, said. Ca ca Go for the younger sister. <laughs> the earlier the better. Mama, I don't want to talk about this again. I please. have said my piece. Let's go. 
Hey, Jezie! Hey, we are not here for you. Allow us to go with her, then you have your peace. Where is the man in you? Coming all the way to arrest a woman who has done no wrong to you. Hey, Jezie, but she lied to the princess of Ikenga kingdom. Ned here must come with us to the palace to face the charges. I can swear on the staff of the king. I can even swear on the sacredness of our journey. What I said is the truth. Why then are you running? Why? You must come with us to the palace. You must face the princess. And who said I am running? AJZ here practically forced me to run. What's wrong with you? What happened to the world you took as a guy? Look, this has become a matter of life and death. You both will not tell me that you are not aware that Princess Maureen will kill her. But I did not lie. Princess Maureen poisoned the king. Keep quiet and allow me to handle this. No one is arresting her, not when I'm still here with her. And who said anyone can arrest me when I am not ready to move? I only followed you because of the way you spoke to me. Not that I am scared of anyone. What an insult, Nerdy. You must leave with us to the palace to face the princess. What have you done? Obiekwe, don't be fooled. I have the star of the gods inside of me. They are the one telling me what to do and what to say. For your own safety. Leave here now! Never. Up your leave! Never! You must come with me to the palace. The oath I took, no retreat, no surrender. Come with me now! Nelly, you have just declared a war by attacking the guards. Let us live here right now. Let's go. So you have the nerves to step your filthy foot into my palace. Young Escobar. That's my name. To what do I owe this unexpected visit? I want my sister. Your sister is not here. You know, you can fool everyone. Play smart with them. But definitely not me. Where is my sister? For the last time, your sister is not here. I want to marry your sister. And not even you can stop me. The lioness that decides to walk in the jungle alone. That is the lioness you should be careful of, Escobar. I can't be afraid of a lioness that has no crew. My sister! 
Don't forget you are standing before Escobar. Fight women, but don't forget, I am still young Escobar. Not even your kingdom can save you if I decide to waste you. Where is Princess Chisum? I hope this story of Princess Chisum missing. It's a joke. Because if she's truly missing, that means I will visit your kingdom. And you know what that means. It means you will not live with a breath in your lungs. Because I cannot wait to attend your funeral. Escort. But I'm going to tell you that your fears have been demystified. I'm here for something serious. I have no idea of what you're talking about. But one thing I am sure of is you brought my sister here because you have agreed to marry her off to Nelson. But Father, let me tell you, that is going to happen over my dead body. We are... Over the years, we have underrated Nede. Everything she said we dismissed with a mere wave of the hand. But I have discovered that in her dwelt all the visions of her ancestors. How do you mean? Because I have no idea how Nedi got into this conversation. How did you manage to smuggle in Nedi into this conversation? We are talking about you marrying my sister off to a beast, to, to, to a son of a cow. I will tell you what she told me that made me come here. It has nothing to do. 